assembly. Hello everybody. Welcome to a video tutorial which describes how to create assembly of various cross-section templates in section module. Assembly in eSurvey CAD is a group of templates joined together to form a combined template. In this example, cross-section drawing represents typical cross-section of a road. To achieve this type of a cross-section assembly feature can be used. Keep section file ready by importing ground levels. You can also import the formation levels in apply cross-section template window. The scope of this video is to explain assembly. We need to create cross-section templates first, then we can assemble them together. Open cross-section templates from cross-section template or assembly toolbar. In a previous video, you have learned how to create the cross-section template. First, Create top layer cross section template as shown, which includes carriageway, earthen shoulder, and tow line. Go to cross section template or assembly menu, then click assembly, select triple dotted button to create new assembly name, say TCS1. Add main template to TCS1 assembly and click save button. To do this, first select TCS1 from assembly name drop down. When adding first cross section template, both X definition and Y definition groups will be disabled. So we just need to select component, intersect layer and resultant layer. Select main from component, select ground layer in intersect layer and let layer 21 be the resultant layer. Click apply template or assembly from toolbar. Select from section and to section numbers then select assembly TCS1 from template or assembly drop down and click save button. In section preview, you can see that top layer is created and applied on ground layer. Add one more cross section template BC in cross section template master window. Once again, come back to assembly screen. Note that cross section template BC has to be accommodated at the center point of the main cross section template in assembly window. Click on new button, select BC from component drop down, specify intersection layer as formation layer and resultant layer as layer 22. In X definition group, we will mention 0 as the X shift value after selecting main as the reference and 1 start as the reference point. Similarly, we will mention 0 as the Y shift in Y definition group as we are intersecting BC layer at the same point of main template. After saving the assembly, if you preview the cross section, you may note that BC template is overlapping with main template because we apply BC on same point of main template. Also, you can note that BC layer is also helpful to get shoulder quantity. In cross section template master, let us create one more cross section template by name DBM as shown. Note that DBM layer has to be accommodated at a point exactly below the center by 65 mm. In assembly screen, to add DBM template, click on new button. Select DBM from component drop down. Select layer 22 as the intersection layer and layer 23 as the resultant layer. In X definition group, select main as the reference template, start as the reference point and 0 as the X shift. While adding Y definition, mention minus 0.065 as Y shift as we have to accommodate this cross section template in assembly at 65 mm below the center. If you preview the cross section at this stage, you can note that now DBM layer is appearing below main cross section template. Similarly, you can create all other road layers like WMM, GSB embankment and accommodate them in TCS1 assembly. Using assembly concepts, many complex requirements can also be achieved. Following are some of the assemblies created. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn how to store a regularly used cross-section templates and assemblies in cross-section template store. 